Moving right along, you can also, one of my favorite places to carry is actually right here on my hip. That's, that's one of my absolute favorite places. And what I generally carry right here on my hip is my shield. This is my shield nine millimeter. <laughs> it's a favorite. It's an absolute favorite. I don't think I have met anybody yet who doesn't like the shield. Um, it's, it, it, it's fantastic, especially for the money. It's just, I just don't think it gets much better. I've never been a huge Smith & Wesson fan, but when I shot this finally, I'm like, this is my nine millimeter carry gun. It's just, it was, it was just clear. Um, so this is what I'm carrying in an Ava holster. It is actually, to show you an example of it. Now, it looks kind of big, but what this does is it's, it's got this great velour on the back. It's like a suede, um, and this is going to mold your body. It's really comfortable. And the first, probably about the first two days that I had it, I didn't like it. Um, I knew that I was going to have to let it kind of mold and get used to it, and, but it wasn't quite, it, it wasn't really comfortable when I first got it. Um, but as I always do when I get a new holster, I give it a few days because just like shoes, what they're going to feel like in a week is not the same thing that they're going to feel like the first time you put them on. And this is actually one of my absolute favorite holsters now. It's very secure. You can, you can move these to change the cant of it, which is just kind of how you want your gun to lean in the holster. Um, very, very, very strong belt clips. Very strong. Now, the thing that's touted about these is that you can easily wear it without a belt, um, which I have, and it's fine. There's no issue with it whatsoever. I kind of prefer to wear a belt just because it really helps with holding up that weight. But this is going to be for you guys to look at, too. Can we see that on you? You have it on you, don't you? Yeah. You can't see how it's fits right down in there. Mm -hmm. And what's that called again? The Ava. Ava. And mm -hmm. that's on the Will Arm Life Learning site? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. That's on the site. So how many have we got now? One, two, three, four, five. I know, yeah. I guess five. <laughs> she said five or six, so I think there's probably more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> more. She meant the She's got more time. I've still got weight to lose. She's <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> Now, some people, this is, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you because this is, this is my experience. Your mileage may vary, and I don't want to dissuade anybody from carrying the way that they want to carry. Um, I just also like to share my experiences and my personal opinions as well. A lot of people like to carry right there in the small of the back. I don't like it. Um, to me, it just, it, it doesn't feel secure. It doesn't feel natural to have to reach back here with my arm to pull out a gun. Do you have a gun to pull out? Do I have a gun to pull out? I do. Oh. <laughs> I knew you would. Yeah. And it's actually stuck. Right, see? He's already got me. Um, I've noticed a lot of men like to carry like that in, in the smaller of their back. And I don't know, maybe maybe it works for them. Like I said, it's just not it's just not my favorite. Um, try it and see how you like it. When my husband took a class, he took a, a class with this well-known guy that teaches us all over the country, and he was down in Florida last year. And the guy recommended that you not do that actually, because if you get knocked down, you're going to mm -hmm. realize that um, it goes into your back. Yeah, most likely. It's it, it's a so good thing. So that's another reason. Yeah, I would say that's that's a good point. And you can see it's it's just very awkward for me reaching back here. And that's just not that's not where now this is in what's called a crossbreed holster. It's a great holster. Normally where I like to wear it is kind of on the side. Um, and what I had in there was my husband's shield because he's not allowed to carry mine. <laughs> <laughs> These are another great holster. Um, it's a you know just nice one piece leather um, with a Kydex mold. They do not sell these on the Wall Arm Woman, but I'm a firm believer that you know the right holster is the right holster for you, no matter where you get it from. But 
wait, there's more. <laughs> That's six. You've got to do something in around your boots. <laughs> yeah. Don't be hiding from it. You know, it could be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Another one of my favorite ways to carry is what is called a thunderwear pouch. Uh -oh. Now, I have a friend who carries with one of these um, to the gym. This is this is how she goes to the gym, and this just fits kind of like a fanny pack around your waist. I've got one on, but it re would require me taking my pants off. Like I said, we didn't pay enough for that. <laughs> so this is some really heavy duty Velcro. I mean, you can hear that. Um, this works great. What you can do, it's got two pouches here. Whether you're right-handed or left-handed, your zipper can go in either one of them. They, they come in different sizes so that the pouches along with the waist are differently sized. So you can carry a small frame, you can carry a large frame, medium frame, however however you want to go. Um, you can also carry your ID, credit cards in here, an extra magazine, whatnot. Does it slip out? Would it slip out with this type of thing in between your booties? You know, it really doesn't because it's going to go under, it's going to go like under your pants. Oh, okay. So that's going to kind of hold it in friction wise. And and you can say, look what I've got. <laughs> you. Mr. Rapist. I've got a prize in my hands you weren't expecting. Um, <laughs> look what I have. How are you? Exactly. Happy birthday. This is a Colt New Agent. It's also a 1911-45. It's a little bit smaller frame one. So this is something, it's a little single site, great to carry. I actually just got this one recently. Um, and it's a fantastic little gun. But as you can see, that fit easily. Could you put that in that little bit too hot? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But of course, with your body. Yeah. So that's the size you have on. Well, this is, I've actually got a little bit larger one on. Um, I think that this is the small one. That would be right there, it's a small gun. Yeah. But you can see that this one still fits in it. Mm -hmm. Perfectly fine. That'd be fine for a golf revolver, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which would be better for wearing on your hips? The belly band or the thunder? <sighs> or your hip strap? If you're gonna wear it like down on your hips? Uh that's really made to wear like in the pelvic region, the, the thunderwear is. I would say that if you actually want like a band that goes around like that for hip wear, I would suggest the belly band. Um, if it's if you if you're gonna wear it like under sweats or shorts or whatnot for the hip, I would I would really suggest the belly band probably first. Um, now I will say with this thunderwear, a lot of people bring up questions about it. They're like, that doesn't you know. A lot of guys, especially, they don't like the idea of a thunderwear, you know, with a gun. <laughs> right there, situated, you know, where it is. <laughs> Which, could you explain <laughs> that more fully? You guys are as bad as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I don't know, I, I guess I can understand that, but for, for me, honestly, it is one of the most secure places that I feel that my gun could be. Nobody's going to get it off my hip. Um, they're not going to get it in my purse. They're certainly not going to get it in the small of my back. If I, you know, if somebody comes behind me and knocks, you know, knocks me from the back, you can envision a number of different scenarios and really anything could happen. And any one scenario could make the way that, the particular way that you're carrying the wrong way to carry. But the fact is, is it's a great secure way. Um, you do, with, with any method that you choose to carry, you need to practice with it. That's just, that's just fact. Especially if you're gonna carry in a purse. We'll get to that in a minute though. Um, and the great thing about the Thunderwear is that, like I said, you can put one on the other side too. <laughs> <laughs> and on this side, I've got a Glock 19, which is also one of the favorites for concealed carry. It's a great, 